Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today, after running a series of tests with my brand new RTX 5080, I can share my personal opinion about this generation of NVIDIA. The first thing I appreciated was how the gaming experience has evolved to reach a level beyond what I was used to with all the previous GPUs I've used so far. Let me explain. Just like what's happening with CPUs, sheer brute power no longer plays a primary role. On the contrary, what truly matters is how that power is harnessed by the software. Therefore, moving beyond the confines of mere numbers, raw rasterization, and teraflops. Let's take a look at what the Blackwell architecture offers in the field of optimization and back-end processing. The core of the RTX 5000 series is the brand new Tensor cores, now reaching their fifth generation, primarily developed for neural network training and inference. These can be utilized by Microsoft's Direct's APIs to enable the application of neural algorithms directly to render textures and geometries, increasing their compression and reducing the cost in terms of occupied memory. Moreover, let's not forget a fundamental technology, like DLSS4, which integrates perfectly into the GPU architecture. And guys, I don't know how to put it into words, but the gaming experience delivered to the eye is astonishing and hardly replicable with previous series or other graphics card brands. I'm telling you this because it's what I'm experiencing using this GPU in 4K, which is absolutely its reference point, and not as an NVIDIA fanboy, for which, by the way, I've never had much sympathy. However, this enthusiast customization from PNY especially pushes hard in every scenario, while at the same time enhancing my 1 for 900K. In the first 3D Mark benchmarks, even the Ryzen 9800X 3D falls behind. Furthermore, I tested Cyberpunk 2077 with the maximum preset, first without upscler and with RT off, and then without upscler and with RT on. What can I say? In the first case, my system scored the same as in RTX 4090, while in the second case, I positioned myself immediately behind the same RTX 4090. I repeat, these are just numbers, guys, and it's a whole different thing to experience. What the monitor delivers with this RTX 5080, to conclude, I took advantage of DLSS for with multi-frame generation, ray tracing, ray reconstruction, and, to top it off, also with path tracing, and it was truly awesome. But guys, let me know your opinion in the comments about the fact that we are living in a new era of graphics cards, where raw power is no longer at the forefront. Also, do you care about raster performance, or do you believe that training neural networks, with the increasingly massive presence of artificial intelligence, is the future of gaming and video editing in general? Are you willing to spend increasingly insane amounts of money on a graphics card like the RTX 5080 and RTX 5090? If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like to support my channel, and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Cheers, and see you next time, guys!
ordine a Santo Domingo è stato confermato. 521 a rapporto. Scusa centrale, stavo pisciando. Vado subito. Thank you. 
Codice 0. Ripeto, codice 0 in questa zona. Tutte le unità tornino alla normale routine. 